I think when you lose a limb, you, uh, what you you miss is just that feeling of how good it is to walk, and um, uh, that has been restored with this with this new leg. Uh, I just have that feeling that it just wants to carry me. It feels so much like my normal leg, my, my natural leg, and how much walking used to feel like before I lost my leg. And um, so in that respect, it's just an incredible feeling. We've been told by users of the, of the uh, powered ankle that it allows them to walk naturally. Uh, they don't have back pain anymore. Because the ankle um, articulates, they say that it, it just feels like natural walking. It knows how to walk and uh, walk up and down slopes and stairs because those are the most common things you do walking throughout the day. Um, those are the most important things to make the amputee feel comfortable. With this, you know, it feels like the energy is coming from my lower leg, and uh, so it's a very natural feeling. We were asked to develop a powered prosthetic ankle for the United States Army. A powered ankle allows a person to walk normally. It gives, it gives the, the ability for the foot to articulate and it gives the ability to add power and to propel the person forward. We use the, um, uh, the robotic tendon to store and release energy in the ankle. As the leg rolls over the ankle, the human body pulls on the springs, storing energy in the springs. The motors pull on the springs as well, adding additional energy, and we use that energy in a powerful burst to propel the person forward. There, there are unique positions of your leg and there's also a unique position of your foot. So by measuring where your leg is, it knows exactly where your foot should be. Um, and by doing some funny things with the math in between there, you can make it uh, work on stairs and slopes. The uniqueness of it is the way we store and release energy. We store energy as the leg rolls over the ankle or as the human body falls forward. We catch that energy, store that energy in the springs, and then the springs return that energy right back at the ankle joint. It doesn't have to anticipate the conditions. It, it's responding every millisecond, uh, measuring what you're doing, and then it, there's a an algorithm that decides what it should be doing at every millisecond and it's a continuous algorithm which means it won't make any jumps from now I'm doing stairs, now I'm doing slopes. So it's always the same, so it won't be jumpy, it's nice and smooth. We know we're, we're um, complete when we can restore uh, natural walking, uh, walking uh, to and from the store, walking up and down stairs. I think that's one of our, our main goals. And then the second goal, ultimately, we, would, we know we, we would be finished when a soldier would, could return to active duty. You know, the, the biggest thing is these guys watching their faces when they don't, they don't expect it to work because prosthetics haven't been so great and then they put it on and they're skeptical, but within two minutes or so and they get used to it, they don't want to take it off. Well, the nice thing about this leg is, I mean, since I lost my leg, I've just dreamt for so long of being able to walk again normally. And this really gives me that feeling again, the one that, you know, that I dream about, and it's just a smooth gait. It feels very, very normal.